What's up, everybody? What's good? What's good? Hey, Jordan. Uh, Tyler King with the Denver Gazette. Obviously, you've been playing some really good ball the last couple of weeks. I mean, how much do you feel like your confidence is growing with, with each game here in your freshman season? Um, confidence has been starting in practice. You know, going against those guys who, you know, getting seven sacks in a game, they really push me every single day, and I feel like um, I haven't faced anybody that's as good as those guys in practice. Hey, Jordan. Brian Howell from Bullet of the Camera. It's good. We saw a lot of uh, your guard rotation the other day. How does that affect you when there's uh, somebody different next to you from you know, series to series or quarter to quarter? Um, I don't feel like it affects me at all because I just make sure that I handle my job. Um, I think it's actually kind of good because sometimes when guys get tired, they start to lose those techniques. They start to lose those communication skills that I value in pass pro and run games. And I feel like bringing in somebody that's keeping them fresh and keeping them uh, ready to go, I feel like it's a good idea. Ron Skulls from Ralphie Report. I was just curious if you could speak to how much this group has grown and improved over the last seven games. Yeah, every game for us has been a growing point. Um, as far as like offensive line that I can speak of, um, Having those tough like tribulations and trials in the beginning, I feel like that kind of made us realize that when it, when we in practice and we have those like hard days where it's like maybe I don't want to do it, you know, you got to do it because then on the game you have to do it <laughs> or we're going to lose, you know. Hey Jordan, uh, Nikki Edwards, Hughes Sports Report. Just curious, how has this year lived up to your expectations on what you had maybe preseason? Like my expectations. Yeah. Um. My expectations were high for me personally, so everybody said I did a good job last game. I feel like I didn't really play my best um, personally. Um, I still got a lot to work on, and my expectation is ultimately the league be the first tackle off the board. So whatever comes with that, I'm gonna have to work for it. Um, I don't really set like really like end season goals because then you get comfortable, and then there's that guy who's hungry, and then he just kills you. No. Hey Jordan, of Packram Associated Press. Um, what's it like for to pass block for someone who can make things happen in the pocket? Um, I actually like having Sador back there. Um, he helps me. He helps me in my pass rush a lot. Sometimes you got a lot of quarterbacks who are eager to get out the pocket, which can ultimately change the rest of the defense. And I feel like he's calm. He's settled, and having a calm quarterback makes me more calm. So I feel like. Um, you know, it's like Mike and Ike with me and Shador. So I appreciate him. <laughs> I appreciate him. Hey, Jordan. When you, when you came here, the team was 4-8 and eight, and a bit of a risk for you. Now, 5-2, and two, everything's out in front of you. How would you describe the team's level of belief right now with so much possible? The ceiling for us is so high, um, which kind of makes it like scary to how good we could be. But could and should don't win. So I feel like once we all, well, like we're doing right now, as we're we're building and we're um, we're coming together and finding those little pieces that make a team as good as they can be. And I feel like um, just just us every day in practice is trying to really just trying to get better and accomplish what we got to do. Hey Jordan, Jake Schwartz, DMVR. What's up, man? Um, when you committed, you said, you know, if you're a dog, why not come to Colorado? You guys have a lot of recruiting momentum right now. What's your message to those recruits out there? To those recruits? Um, really, you see what happens when you believe. You really just got to believe. Um, I took a big risk coming here. Trav took a big risk at Jackson State. I feel like no risk with no reward, you know? So don't go where it's like, you know, everybody goes there, everybody goes there. I feel like you should just come here betting yourself. And as you see, we better ourselves when we're starting to win some games. Hi, Jordan. Adam Muster Tiger, 24 7 Sports. Uh, you were that five star recruit just a year ago, uh, getting all the pats on the back. And, and obviously, you've had a lot of eyes on you here. What, what is that process like for you uh, to keep your head down and, and stay humble throughout uh, the, this process? Um, Coach Phil, he never lets me get comfortable. Um, he always finds something that I can work on. So I feel like for that, that's what I most appreciate it. And I think a while back I said it coming here, um, a lot of schools would tell me how good I was. And Coach Prime, he told me three things I needed to work on. So I feel like always that was keeping me grounded to a point where it's like you got more in you. You could do more. You could be better than what you already are. Hey, Jordan. 
What's up, man? How you doing, brother? Chilling, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, so how do you handle all that pressure with all those colleges coming after you? Um, and I'm sure they offered the bag and everything else. What made you just say, like, you know what, I want to be here with Coach and um, and just do something great with, with, the, with the rest of the group? Well, um, NIL is cool, but um, the real money's in the league, you know? So you can't <laughs> – I'll give up whatever they're doing now for first round, you know, 26, you know. So, uh, but, um, yeah, it's just everybody thinks different, you know. Not everybody's as mature in this um, in this stage of high school football coming into college. And I feel like you just got to find what works for you. And Colorado worked for me, you know. Jordan, just want to ask you about your opponent this week. Yeah. Cincinnati's been playing some good defense. They got some good guys on the edge. What are you seeing uh, you know, out of them as far as the, the challenges they present for you guys? Um, they're going to play hard, like every team plays against us. Um, they're going to they're going to play fast, but we also play fast and we also play hard. Um, I feel like it's more so not about what they do, but how we do. Um, if we, you know, make the right push calls, um, block the right guys, communicate the right blisses. Um, and just all be on the same page, I feel like that is really what's going to ultimately come down to. And I feel like nobody, like if no, nobody could beat us if we don't beat ourselves, you know? Hey, Jordan, can you just talk about the development of the run game? Struggled maybe a little bit early, and then it seemed like maybe a shift. And now yeah. you guys have started to, you know, three of the last four really gain some momentum. How does it feel on that line? It feels good to run the ball. You know, passing 70 times is... It's fun to watch the door throw, but <laughs> my legs do get tired sometimes, you know. But, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the run game has been a big emphasis this year for us. Um, Coach Phil, Coach Pat, um, all the good teams, they run the ball. They're able to RPO off it. Then once they bring the box in, they put A in the box, now we go head top over top with guys like Will Shepard and stuff. So I feel like um, opening up the run game and being more consistent with the run game will help open everything else that we have with our great OC that we got. Follow up to that. I saw you coming off the field at UCF with Coach uh, Lodeholt and kind of arm in arm, kind of smiling. What is your relationship with him like? I mean, this guy was a first time offensive line coach, but it seems like you guys are really starting to build a rhythm. Yeah, um, <laughs> Coach Phil Lodeholt, that's my dog. Um, he played right tackle. His background is uh, it's pretty sick, you know. <laughs> he has he has the cars that we want. He has the money that we all trying to get. Um, so I feel like, I, me personally, I like listening to people who've done it, you know. And I feel like um, he well, not I don't feel like I know that he has done it, and it's proof that he has done it. So why not just listen to him and just um, take his advice? You know, you can't if it don't work, it don't work. But I'd rather try and find out, you know, myself. Jordan, you were kind of thrown into the fire right away. I'm curious, did you ever have like a welcome to college football moment? And how much more comfortable are you now than you were two months ago? I think spring game was welcome to college f football moment for me. Um, <laughs> I was actually, uh, I was that was the most nervous I've ever been. It was like, it probably wasn't even that packed. It was like probably like 35, maybe 35,000 people. But to me, that's the biggest crowd I ever played in. And I feel like spring game was like welcome to college football. And then, um, Nebraska was a good game, but, you know, that was mm, – I don't really got no words for that game. <laughs> Jordan, you're not the only true freshman getting some run on the offense with, with Draylon Miller. Also, he had his first touchdown the other day. Yeah. I mean, what's it, what's it like having a guy, a fellow true freshman, to kind of go through this that's getting some early playing time as well? Um, it's good. We both just get to learn together. We both get to grow together. And, you know, me and him are going to be a big special duo for the next couple of years to come here. Hey, Jordan, uh, Packer, I'm Associate Press, Associate Press again. Um, you said uh, Coach Prime had three things for you to work on. Can you uh, share and how, how are you doing on those three things? Oh, yeah. Um, he said it was a minute ago. Don't quote me on it. That's what all this is for. Um. Trying to give me a second. Oh, I know one of them was core. He was like, you got a weak core. Um, need to get stronger in your legs. And third one. 
it had to do with something about like being more in shape. Because he's a tempo team, and I came in like a little bit sluggy a little bit, even though I was at IMG, but wasn't like college in shape, you know? So if I'm not mistaken, it was those three things. Around those three things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're doing way better on everything, especially tempo. We 100 snaps a day. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>